Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga series. I'm Big LZ. And I'm SF Parker. It's actually been a while, I don't remember what we were last doing or where we need to go. Oh no. Yeah, no, we've been, uh, we've, well, not so much we, it's more me. Uh, I'm usually the one who's busy, but legit, I've uh, been planning an event of sorts for my teeny tiny little town. Don't want to say too much about it. But, uh, it's left me with very little time to come over and record, and then you had an issue with your laptop. Yeah, well, not laptop, computer in general. Yeah. It's the desktop, actually. Oh, timing just hasn't worked out well, so finally we're back! Okay, so I did do this, because it would be phasing in and out. Mm -hmm. I had to double check. So I think we gotta go this way. Yeah, no, we do. Oh, if I'm remembering correctly, mm -hmm. um... Look. Uh, yeah, been we were with uh, DeGroby. Yep. And we were desperately looking for a save point. And so we went, like, I think we went to the left and then we went up on those rocks where the save point was. Yep. I think our goal is actually up to north. Yeah. We just gotta build, we just gotta uh, keep building that rock bridge. Yeah. Why, but it's really easy for me to remember, or it's more, it's easier for me to remember things that have gone on in video games. Maybe it's because there's like a plot, a story. Yep. So it's kind of like remembering where you left off in a book. It just doesn't take a whole lot to remind you. Versus like that random sticky note you left for yourself and you're like, mm, yeah, I was supposed to read that. <laughs> I'm having a bad time already. No, no, we had these problems before too. We were getting just swarmed by them. Yeah. I need some syrup here. Uh, you had some ideas for syrup and things. I forgot it's been... You've already forgotten. Well, it's been a few weeks since I posted those things, uh, messaged them, so... Mm. I already forgot what they were. Okay then. You know what? Let's just let's go full dessert today. Okay. Uh, it's chocolate syrup. Okay. We're going full unhealthy Nutella. I know Nutella isn't purely chocolate, but that's okay. Just my example. I can see my commands haven't gotten rusty yet. Oh, I'm gonna say you're doing really well. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. I think there was a particular move you were trying to work on and it was just like, was not working out for you. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think we should up? Uh, why isn't it spinning? Well, I haven't pushed A yet. Oh, there we go. Uh, if we can be P, because it's so low compared to the others, but the next I'd say would be HP. Oh, we got oh, blister. Nice. We got blister for that, that's fine. What, really? They're fast! I noticed! Uh, Splash Bros on that, because... Are they static enemies, or do they just continuously respawn? No, they're, uh, well, I wouldn't say they're static enemies, they just keep coming up to me is a problem. I know, there's like four of them on this beach, and you walked in, and you were like, Let's party! And they were all just like, Ooh! And ran at you. Oh yeah, so the tell that that they're, the brother they're throwing at is the is the twinkle on the eye. Oh. If the eye's twinkling towards uh, closest to Mario, then it's then they're gonna throw it at Mario. If it's closer to Luigi, then it, they're throwing it at Luigi. I see. In case you're in case you're curious. I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh, then I'm trying to use the freaking control stack and not the <laughs> control pad. Okay, so I'm just kind of. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, mm -hmm. like, the Mario movie's out now. Yep. It's been out for a little while. Yep. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. Neither have I. But I've heard the Peaches meme. Speaking of which. And all I can do when I'm looking at this screen is in my head I immediately have that song going. 
just from the meme alone. I don't know the words, I don't know the context, I just, I know peaches. <laughs> it's speaking, kind of broken. Speaking of which, because you know how I'm, how I'm a fan of Miku and everything, somebody actually made me just sing that song. The oh, peaches song. peaches song? Yep. Oh god. Yep. That's not too bad, it's pretty good. I know, but the only part of this song that I really know is just peaches, 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 peaches. Yep. So then that's, it's, it's as bad as having the Baby Shark song stuck uh, in my head. Because that's the only line I know, and it's repetitive. I, I don't care for it. As soon as I hear that, I'm like immediately skipping it. It's like, I don't want to hear this crap. Or, yeah. I, or like, I'm like... Oh, you I, mean Baby Shark? Yeah, the Baby Shark. The yeah. Peaches one, I don't mind. Because I am a Mario... Well, you know the rest I'm, of the song. I don't. <laughs> no, no, I don't actually know the song. You don't? No. I'm not in the same boat as you. I don't know. I think the only reason I tolerate Peaches more than I do Baby Shark is because, you know, uh, Baby Shark's Jack more for Black. kids. No, Jack Black. Oh. And because it's funnier. Well, I was thinking because Baby Shark is more one of those things that's made for little kids, whereas, like, Peaches is, like, Dude, the Mario movie everybody. was made for little kids. Huh? The Mario movie was made for little kids. Like, um, in terms of what their marketing and demographic aim was, mm -hmm. as, like, Nintendo's just like, we succeeded. We hit our target audience, which was, like... 13 and younger mm -hmm. in terms of like plot, storytelling, um, power of friendship, cliche, things like that. Mm -hmm. The thing that they did really well though is that um, they made sure there was enough, not in your face, but like references. Oh crap. So that the older audience could also enjoy it. Did they poison you? Yeah, it's it's kind of a new enemy. Um, it's a sand sheep or a sand shark. That's the sand sheep. I was gonna say, I was the one you tried to smack was definitely a sand sheep. Is sand sheep or sand cheap? Sand cheap because sand they because the, the enemy. Because cheap cheeks. Yeah, they're cheap cheeks. Yeah. But the sand shark, I wasn't expecting. Yeah. When it popped out and it was partially bones, I'm just like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's kind of your job to figure out what what enemy it is because they don't tell you. <laughs> yeah. There's not a whole lot of tell going on with this one, so you really no. have to have good see, Because look at what you see, look at the enemy there. Like if oh, because they're hidden under. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't know what it is. That's 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 the that's the thing. About that's it. the game. Yeah. That's the challenge with this particular enemy. Yep. So your job is to try to take out the hard ones while leaving the easy ones, so you know you have an easier time with them. Oh yeah. But yeah, in terms of like childish, I get what you mean by Baby Shark. It's quite literally meant for like toddler and younger, whereas the Mario movie is older than that for sure. Well, I think because here's the thing, even if they was targeted by uh, a younger uh, Democrat. Demographic. Demographic, sorry. I've been watching a lot of news. Uh, <laughs> basically, like, I think it could be featured for everybody because like anybody who likes video games, who plays Mario, who knows who Mario is. Yeah, no, no, like they're... I guess what I'm saying isn't like, they, did, they didn't take themselves so seriously that they wanted to make a super complex plot with um, like super intense storytelling and like a really like meaningful thing behind it with a lot of things that adults would like connect with in terms of like um, personal things they're going through. They didn't do that. They, they went full kid. You know, these are super, super awesome characters that they love. Uh, they can hit things, they can punch things, they don't die for the most part. Uh, the good guy always wins, the bad guy always gets what's coming to him. Uh, laughing and joking along the way. N well, see what I mean by different level of storytelling? I guess. I mean, let's just put it this way. The Mario movie is not addressing, you know, complicated issues like war. Or, <laughs> or violence or things like that. Uh, it's... It's good, good guy versus bad guy saves pretty big team. Yep. But if I remember correctly, that's not entirely the thing, because I think Peach takes actually a, a fairly decent role in the movie, and she's not just a damsel. But like I said, I haven't seen it, so. The only reason I know what I know is because I just, I've heard so much chatter about it. Mm. And I've, I've listened to it, because I'm just like, I don't know when I'll see the movie, but I might as well just like, keep up to date on what people think. Those are really cute starfish. Loves you. I know I've made that reference before, but still. That's okay.
So, um, why don't you tell everybody what you are planning here in a couple of days from time of recording this? No, because then we'll end up doxing ourselves. What are you talking about? Because this is something you can literally look up on the internet and it gives away location and everything. Uh, it's too specific. Okay. I'm just I, I can give very vague information. Okay. Um, in the sense that we are from a smaller, more rural area. We're not a huge city. But there is enough, you know, enjoyment of pop culture, video games, comics, wait, 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 wait. and are, anime. Wait, um, just out of curiosity, are you are you afraid to reveal our location? Yeah. No. First, first off, Groby and Scotty Boy Rules have already done they've that. They've already much. doxed you? Yes, they've already. Ah. They brought up Austin before, they brought up Albert Lee before, and they brought up Rochester before. Oh, and, Aust yes. and Austin. Only because... I don't know, what reasons. Oh my, okay, well, I guess I don't need to be nearly as subtle about it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I think I've mentioned this before that I'm on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Um, and part of what I do is I actually try and help others that are on the spectrum through volunteering through a program called uh, Autism Friendly Austin. And we decided for our older group, we were going to throw a cosplay con, a convention. It's a little thing, just teeny tiny little thing, but I know a lot of people are excited. And that's what I've been planning for. I've had to get all the logistics together, um, constantly working with the other members of AFA to make sure we've got what we need. And so far, so good. But uh, <laughs> uh, we got like 48 hours to go and I'm in crunch time. But I'm and here. I promised you I'd record on Wednesday, and it's happening. I'm just not going to sleep tonight yeah. <laughs> until I've got my shut my stuff done. <laughs> oh, and also, yeah, I remember that uh, by the time this is uploaded, it'll be the next day, so it'll be like 24 hours. Oh god! No, remind. Like, why do people keep reminding me of the clock is counting down? I'm yeah. just, I'm just saying. Oh, I've got a whole checklist, and I feel like I'm barely crossing anything off on all the stuff that needs to get done to make this tiny little first-time convention happen. I hope it gets bigger, because... It'd be nice. It'd be like BulgyCon when we went there. Like yeah. That. Well, the whole, the whole point of doing a convention was to connect those on the spectrum with those who have similar interests to them who aren't on the spectrum okay. because cosplay and anime and conventions in general tend to have a, a very healthy group atmosphere and far more supportive depending on which one you go to. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it'd be a super healthy socialization kind of experience okay. and it, it'll normalize and take away some of the stigma from autism but it'll also connect those with autism to those without over commonly shared interests and, and help build social skills. So that was the whole goal behind it. But now everyone's just excited. <laughs> like, I have, I think in my head, I'm like, goals, I have goals. And everybody else is just like, cosplay, cosplay. And I'm like, oh gosh, darn it. <laughs> so. No, I, I do this. Everyone's very excited. I don't know if anyone's gonna come with the Mario stuff. That'd be interesting. That would be interesting. This way. I think I uh, overlooked there's probably more to this side. Actually, it doesn't matter. Oh, did you know we have a comic shop now? Yes. Um, Groby has brought that up to my uh, attention. It's called Hot Off the Press Comics because their entire concept, once they've got everything up and running, is you can sit down and read comics while drinking coffee cafe style. Okay. Which, their store is very cool. I've been in there, and already I have found... I've, I've already nerded oh, out all over oh, his store. Dude, I feel bad because I just I went in there and suddenly I'm like, oh, look at this, look at this. But uh, I found some of the original comic comics with Rocket Rocket Raccoon, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, Ooh, yes. Okay, so I actually goofed. Um, I think there's I, Mario stuff in there too. I thought I knew the path, but apparently you thought you knew the path. Yeah, it's actually um, down. I was gonna say, didn't you get all the stones though for the bridge? It's down here. Is there one more to go? There's one more, yeah. It's this one here. Oh. But I gotta... I gotta do this. Yeah. Because once I hit this... There's that. Oh. There's that. And also... 10 second timer. Oh. Gotta hit it with Luigi. That makes that 
Oh. But it doesn't make the other bridge appear again. We have to cross this. Well, that was just the prerequisite. That's the prequel. Yep. The prequel to the end game. <laughs> I'm sorry, I also recently went and watched Guardians of the Galaxy uh, 3. Uh, that's not good. Oh, no, that was okay. <laughs> this is a little sand cheap. And, this um, can't be good. No. And Mario's poison. It was very, very good. I feel like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 would have done better if it didn't have uh, all the like issues it had with the actor and, and all that stuff. It was in production limbo at one point as well. Mm. Um, I almost feel like it would have done better if it was a little more episodic rather than a full movie. Okay. But uh, otherwise, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm not going to spoil anything because it was really, really good. Oh yeah, that's when we went to the theater to watch, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it was pre-planned. So, um, way, way back in February, we knew the, the release date for certain movies that were coming out. And my friend invited me and I'm like, dude, I don't have money for this. And he's just like, I'll pay. And I'm like, what? what? And he's like, I just want to go to the movies. I'm like, okay. So... That's what ended up happening. So we planned out the two movies. One happened quite literally in February around my birthday, and the other one happened this month. Okay. Which uh, was Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Okay. Oh crap, I have a lot. I screwed up. Though now I might have to to pester DeGroby because now that the Dungeons and Dragons movie has come out and I heard people's reviews about it. Specifically, I heard from a YouTuber who quite literally runs online D&D sessions as a dungeon master. Mm -hmm. And he said it was, you know, good enough. Like, the people who made it knew what they were doing and had a passion for D&D, so they made sure it wasn't, you know, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Now I need to go see it. And I know Groby also loves D&D as much as I do. So we're going to try and see that. Oh, you know what would be interesting? What's up? Um, the homebrew world themed after Mario and the Mushroom Kingdom. What, what class would Mario and Luigi even be? I don't know. But anyway. Well, they definitely be human. Oh yeah. Actually, oh. they're a little bit short. They could be, they could be halflings. Which, uh, by Tolkien standards, that would be hobbits. Okay. Because they are shorter. But then again, they also could just be short humans. <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm now I'm playing around in my brain like, ooh, wow! I think it glitched. That there we, there go. we go. There we go. That one was mean. Yeah. And oh, there was another chunk. Yep. That's the last. Just a, that was the last one. I'm too busy talking your ear off. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah, that was the last one. And we want to go this way. Get back to where we were. I forgot that actually existed. You know, if they do a sequel to the Mario movie, um, I hope that they treat it the similar way that they treat video games. Mm -hmm. Like, the first game introduced all the concepts. Bowser, Peach, Mario, Luigi, um, and how it all works. Ooh. It was a piece of what we need. And then from there, they started expanding on what their games could be, and they came out with games like this. So I'm hoping that they do the same with the movies, so we end up with movies that have fun concepts like this game does. Hmm. Watch, this, watch what this guy says here, huh? Wait, is this... This is a Christmas tree crowd. Yeah. Alrighty, have you come and help me decorate too? Why, well, right close, and I must that even. That means... Yeah, he speaks kind of like Sylvester Cat. Oh. Could you be Santa Claus? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Shark people. Well, we met them when we got on this, when yeah. we got here in the first place, yeah. Okay, they know who we are. Yeah. The ladies do, at least. Yeah. The crab. He's absolutely convinced we're Santa Claus. Oh no! Poor Luigi.
Okay, not... Can, can we just talk about the, the shark lady behind Mario, whose bikini top is wiggling from side to side? Like... Yeah, I just brought that. That's... I, I can't not see it! Anyway. I'm glad she stopped. Anyway. Oh. Green clothes, mustache. Your... <sighs> Wait for it. Oh. <gasps> they know who he is! Oh wait, he's all excited. Oh my god. Are we lucky or what? Pinky How old are you? Pinky What's your sign? Pinky. And your hat size? Okay, your waist? Favorite snack? But yeah, this is uh, Hermie. He's the boss. He's the boss fight for this. Oh, I guess he is based on a hermit crab then. Yep. I mean, as someone who owns hermit crabs. Oop, that was close. So far, I'm not getting much of a hermit crab vibe from him. Mm -hmm. He looks more like a decorator crab, honestly. But now that I'm looking a bit closer, nah. Oh, I screwed up. When he's, when he's pulsating his claw like yeah. that, that means you want to jump in. Actually, I think I screwed up when I wanted to do this. This is probably what I wanted to do. No, it's not working. Ooh, there it is. You can, you can actually set his uh, decorations on fire. That's what I was going for. Oh, yes. I want you to keep trying to do that. I'd like to see his decorations on fire. Well, it's it's not like their decorations completely go on fire. It's just that there's just a little bit of a fire effect to, to indicate it. Yeah, I'd like to see that. If it happens, I'll, I'll definitely do that. <laughs> Maybe keep trying fire both. Maybe that's what I need to do. This is another target I'm not aware of. Well, no, three. Can you aim for the shell higher up? I don't know. I'll, I'll check that when I get a turn to attack here. No, there's only the three. Huh. I'm, cyc I'm cycling through them. There's only the three. But yeah, it, maybe it's just a really rare thing, I don't or know. maybe it's an effect that didn't carry over into this when they. Well, this is the original, so I would imagine the. Effect yeah, but when they when they updated it so it could go onto the Switch system, they might have left things behind, little things we don't realize. I don't know. Depends on how the programmers did it. Actually, what I think you have to do is you have to make him retreat into a shell. Is what you have to do. Oh yeah, or else it'll always hit his face. Yeah, I have to figure a way to do that. If oh get... wait, I, I think I know how to do it. You have to use the hammer. Like, if Use you, that. if you get both of his claws, if you destroy both of his claws with your retreat. No, it's not retreating. There is, he, I can't remember how to do it. By this point, he's going to be dead before I can even do it. Well, we're going to figure it out. Let me try to tighten his claws and maybe that can help. I was like, if you knock off or if you hurt his claws so he can't use them to attack you anymore, he might duck into his shell. Probably. I'm gonna try that. But at this point, he might be too close to, to defeat it for it to work. I'm willing to do it regardless. There oh, it goes! See? There, there we it go. Goes. Yep, there it goes. Now we can set it on fire. Yep, now we can do it. Yeah, the shell clearly doesn't take nearly as much damage because it's the shell, but... Yeah! yeah! That's it's on right. fire! Yep. We got it! Plus we got some uh, 
uh, extra nice dialogue to go with it. Yep. You should probably... Way ahead of you. Awesome. Oh yeah, see, he ducked into his shell to put bandages on his claw. No, um, I just damaged that claw and, it, and put bandage on it. Oh, I see. Because it's taken enough hits. But he won't be able to attack with it anymore. Oh, okay, so it doesn't heal, it just gets bandaged. Yeah. You do that to the other claw. We'll see if I can do it right here quickly. Nope, it goes right back into the shell. Which is good, because then I'll just do this. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, his, his other claw's back. See, that's what I meant. When he goes into a shell, I think he's trying to heal himself. Yeah. No, I meant BP. Ah. Uh, say Mario needs health more than BP right now. Do those crabs in the background run like that to distract you? Kind of, yeah. That's kind of funny. He ducked back into his thing. Yeah, you're never able to do more than just one one damage, but if you set his decorations on fire, it comes back out immediately. Yep. Imagine if you don't do that, he'll stay in there longer and you can't do as much damage. There you Whoa! go! Level 27! There you go, good job, Mario. Um, he does need help, though. Good point. That's a shame. That's okay. He's a little kooky. Yeah, we worked really hard to get here, you know? I might use that as a screenshot. I was hoping to do a one earlier, but I forgot. Got yeah, distracted. that happens. I got distracted, so. He's not exactly a difficult boss. We got a beast star piece. Nice. Only three more to go. Oh no. Just gonna say, are we gonna just like have fangirls as our next enemy? If we talk to Hermie like this. Anything to replace the bean thing with. I'm gonna travel, I really hope you back here. Ooh, so at some point we can come back and make him pretty. Yep. We can shiny. Which we will definitely do. Well, is that something we can do right now? No. Okay. Oh, you're just getting a shortcut. Yep. It's like, oh, we're going to walk all the way back. No, we're just going to do this bridge and we'll be back. Yep, that's the shortcut. That's annoying. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that's got to hurt your tailbone. Yep. So think about this. All we did was go to Teehee Valley and helped out those skeleton guys. After that, the, we chased the bean star piece through this water mm -hmm. only after that have to go through the whole thing with um that one location to learn new power-ups also because we learned that from the jellyfish sisters yeah and then from there it was kind of just make our way to Hermie and get our first bean star piece that's really nope those are uh, bloopers sorry bloopers Got um, Splatoon on the mind. That's okay. 
Yeah, here's that same ship. Ah, the one we worked so hard to not have sunk. After but then again, they were stuck out in the desert. At least now they're underwater. Yeah. Until we just have to wait until it dries up. Yeah. To try again. That'll take a long time. Oh yeah. Assuming that their world works oh, the same as ours, there's also a possibility that rather than drying up and the sea levels going down, mm -hmm. things get warm and water goes everywhere. Yep. Okay, so now there's our map for the Arrow of the Beanstalk pieces. Which one do you think we should go to next time? Um, well, we went, where, we went to that little island, right? We were, okay, you see where the university spot is? Yeah. Just right next to it on the right. Is, is apparently. Yeah, that's where we were previously. Yeah. Assuming this game wants you to go in a circle, you'd go down first. By well, you can do any, you can tackle any one of them in any order now. Oh, okay. So we, we now can tackle any of the three. We needed to get this one in order to get the hand parts to go back to, to get those other three. Ah. You'll see why when we do them. Uh, let's go to the dangerous spooky looking forest. Oh, you want to go? With the X. You want to go to Chucklehawk Woods on the next one? Oh, okay, yeah. The Chucklehawk Woods. All right, sounds Return good. Return to the Chucklehawk Woods. Sounds good. Uh, first things first. Right, don't, I don't get blown up first. That's the first thing. No, I want to go in here because I don't think I've gotten this yet. And we'll just right here to cast it on because I want to do some stuff. What do you want to do? Buy some stuff? Yeah, I want to get some like supplies and everything for the next episode. So that makes sense. I'm at least going to save here. We'll because you have time for another one, right? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. We'll wrap up here and then we'll... I only have time for another one if you come over and help me with some of those details for the con. Yep, not a problem. I will do that. And besides, this next one will probably won't be as long, so don't okay. worry about it. Anyway, ready to wrap up? Yep. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga the Series. I've been Big LT. I've uh, been S.F. Parker. Final words? I'm glad we're getting back on track. I'm really excited for the con, but I'm also really excited for it to be over because that means I get to finally like sleep in and not worry and then i have more time to record with you um i'm hoping we can take one of our series off of hiatus very very soon yep but uh i'm really back i'm really glad to be be able to get some recording done yep and i uh, not to mention when we get done with this series i'm actually going to finally return to an older series nice so but so i'm hoping i'm hoping maybe you summer. maybe hopefully uh, you and groby can take turns on that series yeah sound good yeah all right. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.